Recently, there has been a desire for the United Kingdom to strengthen its influence on the world. And the concept of this influence will be called, the power of good. To implement this concept, the largest rearmament since the Cold War has now begun in the UK. Despite the independence of the United Kingdom from the European Union, the defense industry of this country is integrated into pan-European industrial corporations. And most of the weapons are being created in cooperation with other European countries. The promising drone Tyrannus is designed to perform reconnaissance and strike missions. The first flight of the prototype of this drone took place in 2013. It has an internal armament compartment. The shape of the drone, its small size and special coating significantly reduces its visibility for enemy radars. The weight is slightly less than 3 tons. The speed is about 1,200 km per hour. It is assumed that the main armament will be adjustable aircraft bombs and guided missiles. The control is carried out by the operator. However, in the future, a significant increase in its autonomy is expected. When the operator's participation will actually consist only in confirming the attack. Despite a significant reduction in the army tank fleet, the UK is upgrading its main battle tanks to the Challenger 3 version. The upgraded Challenger will receive a new turret with a 120mm smoothbore gun instead of a rifled one on the previous modification. For weapons, the development of new ammunition is also provided, including high explosive fragmentation with a programmable detonation range. The ammunition is 50 shells. New panoramic thermal imaging sites have been installed in the commander and gunner's places. The fire control system will be unified with the Ajax IFV. For better awareness on the battlefield, Challenger 3 is equipped with a new communication and data exchange system that will allow real-time information exchange with other vehicles. The protection is increased due to the installation of an active protection system and modular armor. Taking into account all the innovations, the mass of the tank has increased to 66 tons, but its equipment with an engine of 1500 horsepower allows it to reach speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour. The new Ajax IFV is being entered in service. According to the statements of the company General Dynamics, the manufacturer of the IFV is a new generation machine in which the principle is implemented. The first discovered, the first made a decision, the first took action. This is provided by a modern combat information and control system and sighting equipment with elements of artificial intelligence. The system automatically recognizes targets and ranks them according to the degree of danger. The possibility of network interaction with other vehicles in the group and infantry units is provided. The combat weight of Ajax is about 34 tons. Crew 3 people. The reservation, taking into account the mounted modules, provides protection against 30mm shells, grenade launchers and anti-tank guided missiles. The main armament of the machine is a 40mm automatic cannon. It is also planned to install launchers with Brimstone 3 missiles. The Brimstone 3 high-precision missile is designed to engage a wide range of mobile land and sea targets. The missile can be used by various carriers, airplanes, helicopters and armored vehicles. The maximum firing range is about 30 kilometers. The guidance system is a combined active radar and laser. It is used in the shot forgot mode. Work is underway to create a sixth generation Tempest fighter, which by 2035 should replace the Eurofighter Typhoon in service with the Royal Air Force. The development of the aircraft is carried out jointly by the UK and a number of other European countries. The fighter is planned to be integrated into a common information space with other aircraft and attack drones. Information about the air and ground situation will be transmitted in real time not only from long-range radar detection and control aircraft, but also from reconnaissance spacecraft. The Spear 3 air-to-surface guided missile is designed to engage a wide range of mobile and stationary targets. The missile is small, its mass is about 100 kg. This allows it to be placed in the internal compartments of inconspicuous fighters. The missile is aimed at the target in a combined way. There are radar and infrared channels, as well as GPS correction. The rocket can be used in the let-go-forget 
modes, two-way communication with the carrier and the possibility of retargeting in flight, as well as in network mode with other missiles in a group with automatic targeting. To replace the American E-3D Sentry long-range radar detection and control aircraft, the creation of a new E-7 Wedgetail aircraft is being completed. Its main feature is a multifunctional radar based on an active phased array antenna, which allows detecting aerial targets at a range of at least 400 kilometers. And a high-performance radio intelligence station, at least 500 kilometers. In addition, data on the situation on the aircraft will also come from external sources, ground and sea radars, reconnaissance spacecraft and others. At the same time, the aircraft can accompany about 200 air targets and direct fighters at them. The flight characteristics of the aircraft are comparable to the civil Boeing 737, on the basis of which it is made. The first aircraft is scheduled to enter the British Air Force in 2022 or 2023. The Perseus Advanced Supersonic Anti-Ship Missile is expected to replace the Harpoon and Exocet missiles in service by 2030. The stated firing range is about 300 kilometers. In addition, an option with an increased range for strikes on ground targets is also being considered, instead of a scalp cruise missile. The speed of the missile according to various sources will be about 3,500 kilometers per hour. The flight altitude for different modes will be from 10 meters to 15 kilometers. The guidance system is a combined active radar and laser. The missile can be used from ships, submarines and aircraft. The Skysaber anti-aircraft missile system was created using the technologies of the Israeli Iron Dome air defense system. The complex includes a launcher based on a manned truck with 12 cam anti-aircraft guided missiles, a giraffe targeting radar station of the Swedish company Saab, as well as radio electronic control equipment of the Israeli company Rafael. The radar detection range is up to 120 kilometers in the 360 degree sector. The minimum range of the SAM is less than 1 kilometer, and the maximum is 25 kilometers. The maximum speed of the target being hit is about 3,500 kilometers per hour. The mass of one missile is 100 kilogram. The missile is equipped with a combined guidance, radio command at the initial stage of the flight and active radar at the final. The British branch of MBDA is developing a combat laser, Dragonfire, which is designed to defeat lightly protected small-sized air targets and boats. The laser complex is equipped with an optoelectric guidance system that functions in all weather conditions and at any time of the day. Currently, the laser power is about 50 kilowatts. The construction of a nuclear submarine with ballistic missiles of the Dreadnought project is underway, which will replace the Vanguard-type boats in service. According to reports, this will happen no earlier than the 2030s. The length of the submarine under construction will be more than 150 meters. Displacement of more than 17,000 tons, crew of 130 people. The submarine's armament will consist of up to 12 American Trident 2D5 ballistic missiles with the possibility of multiple launch. Each missile carries up to eight warheads at a range of up to 11,500 km, as well as four torpedo tubes. The service life of the submarine will be at least 30 years. It is stated that the submarine will be equipped with a British nuclear power plant with direct energy conversion of the Rolls-Royce company, as well as a promising sonar system that will provide improved capabilities for acoustic detection of marine targets. Thus, the UK's military industry, in cooperation with other European countries, allows us to create weapons samples that correspond to the world's leading trends, which in turn ensures the promotion of its foreign policy on the world stage. Subscribe to the channel, rate the video, write comments, see you soon.